Welcome to part two of the Python click tutorial. So here we're going to add a command to this group. And the way you do that is you just do at example, that's our group name, and we'll do command and we'll call this command uh, type. And what that means, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll write the command later and you'll, you'll understand. So what we're going to do with this, oh, uh, haha, maybe that's not a good name. Maybe we'll call it um, typer. There we go. Uh, def typer and uh, returns type of context object. That's what it's going to do. Uh, so now if we do Python walk through click uh, typer. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Help. We'll see that we've added this command. Um, and this is still here. So it tells you returns type of context object. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a context um, and a click argument. Uh, I'm just going to make this in the same video, so this will be fine. Um, passing context is a uh, context, pa pass context basically <clears throat> tells uh, click that we're going to be passing a context object around, which is created with a command and then exits when that command exits. So because click.group is a command with um, that is just essentially a group command and click, all of the context objects, all of the commands inside of the click dot group example will share the same context. So they share the same context option and that will allow you to pass different things around in the context without having to um, pass it in as an argument or a parameter into the actual function call. So here what I'm going to do is I'll do click dot pass context and I'm also going to add click dot pass argument so we can add an argument in. Uh, or sorry, click the argument so we can add an argument in. And I'm going to call our argument <coughs> um, uh, uh, JSON because I'm going to pass a JSON file in. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to add this context object and JSON object. Uh, okay, let's do this. So what we're going to do here is essentially create, uh, read in a JSON file and then create an object out of it. Um, okay, wait, I'm going to change the JSON name to doc. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to load this document basically. So stream equals open doc dict equals JSON dot load stream stream. And then we will close our stream and then we will assign our context object to dict. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to, once again, at click dot pass context, we're going to pass context, but we're not going to pass any arguments here. Um, because we do not need to. So what we're going to do is basically just print the type of the context object type ctx dot obj. And yeah, so Python walkthrough click. Uh, so I'm going to do the dash help so we can see, you know, just what's the usage, right? So, um, so example options dot command. So let's do that. So Python walkthrough click, that's example. There's no options to pass here. So we'll pass in our document. And I'm going to be playing with this JSON document that I um, got from Assembly AI. It's a, uh, the, from the transcription of, of a, uh, file uh, through assembly AI and it's got uh, category topic sorted so we can play around quite a bit with the JSON file so it'll be fun um, now let's do typer so we can see class dict okay as we expected nice so that's part two and part three and in part four I'm gonna go over making a pass decorator for your dictionary